The Make Noise Sound Hack Morphogene is a new tape and microsound music module for the capture, manipulation, and generation of sound. Full voltage control of all musical parameters makes it easy to search between the notes and discover the unfound sounds. The Morphogene gives us access to several time scales of music, from the macro and meso scales of composition, phrase, and gesture, down to the sound object and micro scales of individual notes and their sonic matter. In this video, we'll give a quick overview of the controls. In future videos in this series, we will focus in detail on how the Morphogene handles sound at each time scale. The Morphogene comes with a blank micro SD card for storing sounds. No sounds are included with this card. The world of sound is larger than we could possibly imply with presets. The Morphogene records or loads sonic material in stereo onto a reel, which can consist of up to 87 seconds of audio. The reel can be divided into up to 99 smaller pieces called splices. During playback, press the splice button or send a gate to the input to place a new splice point and divide the current splice in two. The current splice is selected using the organized control. When the splice finishes playback, it refers to the organized control to decide if it should move to a new splice and the play input to decide whether to play again. Play input is normal to high, so with nothing in the input, it loops continuously. The shift button lets us increment from the current splice to the next. Using the vary speed control, we can change with great range the speed and direction of playback. The vary speed is also indicated visually by two colored windows on either side. The window to which the knob is pointing shows the current speed. When this window is green, the speed is the same as the original record speed. The area of playback within the currently selected reel and splice is further affected by the gene size, slide, and morph controls. Slide determines the start point of the gene. The gene size control determines how large the playback window is. As we turn it up, the portion of the splice that is played back gets shorter and shorter. Slide determines the start point of the gene. determines the amount of overlap between playback of one instance of a gene and the next. For example, with morph all the way down, there is a small gap between genes. This creates an interesting bumpy texture when used with small genes, especially when modulating slide. up, we reach a point where the end and start points are identical, creating a seamless loop. At this point, the opposite vary speed window shows orange. As we turn it up further, the start point comes before the end point, resulting in overlap. At the end of the knob, we also hear some randomization of various gene parameters, putting Morph into overdrive. Putting all these parameters under modulation gives us more than infinite variation from a single reel. But the Morphogene can also store additional reels on the included micro SD card. The Morphogene is set up in such a way that it is similar to having two independent machines, one for recording and one for playback and modulation. 
In the videos about recording and time lag accumulation, we will discuss the advantages of this. In future videos, we will go into detail on how all parameters work together and how to capture, manipulate, generate, and recall sound with the morphogene at every time scale.